Welcome back. So I believe this is part four of the Hank Greenberg collection overview. We've done the raw cards waiting to be sent out. We've done the actual slabbed cards. We've done photos. Now we're doing oversized slabs and a couple of loose ones. But this is part four of the Hank Greenberg collection. One of these days I'll get into the modern stuff, but that's another video for another day. So... I guess we're going to start from oldest to newest, which is kind of how I organize this thing. So starting off, we have a 1934 Detroit Tigers, multiple signatures, a signature book. You have Hank up top, Mickey Cochran, Schoolboy Row, and some other very difficult signatures on here. Just a fantastic piece. Happy to have this as part of the collection. And we have this recent pickup. Postcard, postmark 1936. Made by Greenberg. Which he used to send to fans requesting signature or just wrote to him. Signed simply Hank at the bottom. So, got this in a trade with Michael Shane, as you may have all seen. Um, these two, one I received as a gift from Michael Shane, the other one I bought from him. 1936 Detroit Times, sports stamp. Great pieces. You don't see them a whole lot, so... Took the opportunity to buy it from him. 1936 Na National Chickle. It's a rebacked card, but it's okay. That was definitely not the price on this one, but anyway, decent little 36 on that. And we got 36 National Chickle. These are blank backs. PSA 3, Greenberg and Dickey Catching. 36 Scouty Premium Type 1. I have multiple Type 1s. Even SGC 3 Type 1. And then this says Type 2. I believe it's a Type 4. And 1.5. And Another great piece I was happy to get. It's a 1939 New York World's Fair. Signed. Uh, Academy of Sport ticket. Or card, I should say. By Greenberg. Again, these are things that don't come up often. So, happy to get it when I did. Happy the seller took my offer. Multiples of this card, 39 to 46 exhibit. We have an SGC2. Another SGC2 that just looks a little bit better. PSA 2.5. And, and the recent edition was an SGC5. Again, from Michael Shane. Then we have the much rarer exhibit again 39 to 46 exhibit this is the very truly yours version and a PSA 3 we have a 1945 photographer's privilege pass given to an associate press photographer in Boston And you figure he saw at least Greenberg a few times. Got a postcard. This 1949 team issue, Cleveland Indians. Auto. 1951 postmark. Have a second one. Not filled out. But still has an auto on it. 
A nice little cut piece here. Best wishes, Hank Greenberg. From a government postcard, 1951. Hall of Fame plaque. A little beat up, but it was inexpensive. Very tough issue here. Print run was roughly, I think, 250 on these for the set. 1964 Topps Rookie uh, All-Star Banquet at PSA 5 with Greenberg. A little executive picture there. And this slab is the reason why <laughs> um, I was able to make a trade with Michael Shane. I had an extra one in black ink. I sent over to him as part of the trade. Nice slab there. Nice photo of Hank and um, Ralph Kiner. Another photo of Greenberg and Kiner. Some 1973 TCMA postcard. This is not a signature, but it's a nice example of a Perez steel, 1980, Gem Mint 10, postcard. I really picked this up because the price was right, and you have to imagine postcards like this do not stay in shape. Nice dual sig here, Hank Greenberg, Happy Chandler. And then these are four um, of the cuts from 2018 uh, Historic Autographs Kings 2. I mean, 27 Greenbergs. I have four of them. Earlier SIG there. This is number one of 27. This is number four of 27. The later SIG. Number eight of 27 with an earlier SIG. And then 20 of 27 with an index card sig. So, I was able to find four of those. All right, then we have a couple of loose ones that are yet yet to be slabbed. Postcard, you've seen the signed version of this. This is the unsigned blank one. Nice little note from HG. St. Greenberg. This is from August 23rd, 1980. So I brought, bought it from a seller who actually had a full letter that they're keeping, unfortunately. Um, but they were willing to sell the postcard. And then this is the 36 Gaudi Premium Type 1. And now we have a stack of autographed newspaper clippings, primarily. This one was sent to me by Michael Shane. Nice example of this. It was actually in a much clearer signature than the one I had. So I was happy with that. These are all fun, though. Um, this one, these clippings I found for like 50, 60 bucks a piece. And so I bought as many of the good signatures as they had. This is Greenberg as an executive. Another executive SIG. These are obviously 50s primarily newspaper clippings. And the cool thing is I have some of the photos. This one was great because it's with Bob Feller. 1952. A little personal photo. This was sent to me as a gift um, from Mets Rule. Shocked to receive this in the mail. This was with uh, Carol Gimbel, Gimbel Department Store family, when they were married. Another one, Bob Feller. This is a regular cut sig, obviously from someone's scrapbook, when SGC was still authenticating. A little postcard sig. I like it when it's on, you know, unlined. My preference. 
And this one I picked up is just a absolutely stunning SIG. You can tell he took a tremendous amount of time signing this. So when you compare it to a more rushed signature up top, just what you'll no normally find for something he's going to really take his time with. Just a fantastic example. And we need some really, really oversized stuff. Um, this is 2019 The Bar, Pieces of the Past. Hank Greenberg. With the SIG on the bottom. A little newspaper relic and sketch up top. And it is JSA certified. And a 9 on the auto. I was happy to get that for actually a very, very reasonable price. It's my only example of this particular oversized premium. 1936. Not the greatest shape, but I have it. And then this was an inexpensive buy because it was an early SIG. I wanted to buy it. Obviously from someone's scrapbook. Just kind of floating in here. But very oversized PSA slab. So that's the oversized slabs I have in the Greenberg collection. It keeps growing and growing. And when I see stuff like really nice slabbed autos for you know, 60 bucks a piece, sometimes less. Um, I really tend to pick those up because um, I think in my eyes they're no-brainers. I mean there's modern guys you can spend more on a SIG for um, than Hank. There's a lot more on. So when I can find them at really really good prices um, like that I really go after them um, and then obviously I'll spend I'll prefer my preferences for the earlier SIGs so this is going to be the earliest one that I have, dated. Um, and then unique pieces such as this. If I have the opportunity to get them, I will. And if I have the means to. Um, but that's a really kind of my overview of some of the larger things I have. I don't have any pennants. I don't have any of the super huge stuff, which I've seen. Um, but there are some things, as you've seen in the binders... That I have that still those need to be slabbed um, but so far this is pretty good I think for the oversized slabs that I have in the collection and I think the next one eventually will be the modern cards um, which I don't plan on getting slabbed they're gonna stay in either one touches or top loaders um, I have a pretty decent collection there, too. Um, so, that'll be the next and likely final installment for the overview of the Greenberg collection. And until next time, please remember to collect what you enjoy, enjoy what you collect, and don't let anybody, especially the market or YouTuber, dictate that to you. And most importantly, have fun. And have fun by being active in this community. So find your way of participating, whether it's making videos, watching and commenting, going to live streams, group chats, going to your LCS or local card show, or simply talking about the hobby with family and friends. The more you put into it, the more you'll get out of it. The more you'll learn, the more your PC will grow, the more people you'll meet, and the more fantastic friendships you'll form. So I thank you very much for joining me. Hope to see you again. Have a good one, and bye for now.